months ago i made some content concerning the basis of christianity and i was actually asking christians and just people in general that why specifically black christians have such an issue you know when it comes to me and how i perceive christianity but even more so how is it that you can ignore the fact that your ancestors had advanced spiritual systems prior to christianity prior to colonialism and prior to the christianization of your ancestors you know and it's just so interesting that i had got all these different comments from christians <laughs> who were so ignorant and oblivious to these facts and trying to cover up or trying to ignore and just do anything that they can to just not really focus on what i was actually bringing out so in this video i'm going to be re responding to 19 comments <laughs> From this particular video that we are about to actually look through and review you know we're going to watch it real quick and then we're going to get back to it now to the black people the christian black people that keep coming on my page talking about i need to repent to jesus i just got a couple of questions for you how is it that you are fine with accepting and worshiping the jesus that they gave you how how like how does that go on in your mind like how are you okay with the fact that you had highly advanced systems highly advanced spiritual systems where you had knowledge and connection and relationship with the supreme power with supreme intelligence that we now call god and you gave that up you gave up the connection that you had with god for a false god that they had gave you to weaken you i want you to think about that for a second you already had connection with god you already had a connection with the supreme intelligent and then you gave that up for their god and for their book yes over 400 years ago we didn't know about a jesus we did not know about a savior we could flip the tables and deal with chief hatui who is one of the first heroes in cuba you know one of the natives and you know the europeans they were about to burn him to a stake for his rebellion and it was like, well, if you will convert to Christianity, you're going to go to heaven. But if you don't, you're going to go to hell. And he's like, Nick, I'd rather burn in hell. This is Christianity. This is how y'all deal with people. This is how y'all look it up. This and is what he heavy on Chief Hatui. It's so interesting that I brought up Chief Hatui and not one Christian could even really talk about the basis of his story. It's so interesting. <laughs> like I was saying before, it's 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 really mind boggling how they choose to ignore the atrocities that have been committed by the religion of Christianity. And they will just tell you, well, that's not truly the nature of Christ, but fail to realize that they contribute, they contribute themselves to a religion. They go to church, they read the Bible, they, you know, listen and they submit themselves to these Christian doctrines. And you cannot just try to disassociate from the bad of a religion that you submit your life to. That's like America trying to push away the atrocities that they have committed against indigenous people and the things that they have done concerning, I don't know, slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, so on and so forth. <laughs> you know, even even now, you know, the country of America still operates with bloody hands. You can't you just can't run away from those type of things. And the same thing applies to Christianity. You can say Christianity has nothing to do with Christ, but you cannot say that you are not a Christian. You cannot say that you don't submit yourself or that you don't participate in the traditions of Christianity, of you bashing and slandering people of other faiths, making other people of other religions look bad and feel bad pushing on these ideas and these ideologies and this propaganda of how they're led by evil spirits and they need to be civilized they need to repent they need to be saved these were things that the europeans did across the world where they were trying to christianize and civilize indigenous people because they thought them they thought of them of being inferior and the same story applies to chief hatui and he was not going for what the, the, the conquistadors or the Spaniards were trying to do in his lands. He wasn't successful, but it's so interesting that the priests, <laughs> this is how he was introduced to Christianity, of his people being taken over, of his land being taken over, of his people being taken advantage of, this was his introduction to Christianity. 
And you mean to tell me he, he goes to hell. You mean to tell me right then and there because he didn't give his life to Christ because he may have cursed the name of Christ. He goes to hell. Oh, but Tyrone, I'm sure Jesus is faithful and merciful to give him a second chance. See, now you're using imagination. Because <laughs> that's not what your Bible says. You see what you have to do in order for you to try and play this game of, of you trying to feel like this God exists, that this Jesus is coming back, that he's real. You almost have to put yourself in a complete delusion in order for you to truly submit yourself to this idea of a deity. Anyways, we could go on and on on that basis, but <laughs> let's get on to these comments because these comments were crazy. And even nowadays, you know, people still go on this page or, the, or excuse me, they, they, I mean, they always go on my page, <laughs> but they still go to my, to this video. It, it got over 50,000 views on Instagram, you know, over 2000 comments, you know, and just people, you know, on and on day by day, these Christians always come to this, this real thinking that they're spitting some real facts but like i said we're only going to go over 19 out of the thousands we're going on we're going over 19 so the first one that we're going over this man says l content christ is the only way the message was in africa as far as the west africa or as far as for west africa just like in other civilizations where the message was spreading they were worshiping idols and demons posing as gods Social media, the best and quickest way to spread ignorance, man. Now, like I was saying before, this is this westernized, you know, propaganda that they try to push on to indigenous people with different systems. And in order for you to try and justify colonialism and justify genocide, it's for you to demonize the people that you are manipulating and the people that you are taking advantage of. Oh, look at these people. They are so uncivilized. They're so savagery. I mean, just look at them and look at their gods and look at their entities. They worship multiple gods and they do this and they interact with these rituals and they're cannibalists and they're savages. Oh, yeah, we got to take them over. Oh, yeah, we got to civilize them. Oh, yeah, we got to Christianize them. The same type of like tactics that you see with the Israelites in the Old Testament, and it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> That they had to demonize, you know, the, the, the Canaanites and they had to demonize the Ammonites and the Hittites in order for them to feel like, oh, this is God's plan for us to take over their lands. It's so interesting that the promised land had to be first, you know, you, you had to first commit bloodshed <laughs> in order for them, in order for them to take the promised land back or in order for them to go to the promised land and be within the promised land. It's only one condition. They had to annihilate the people on the land. What type of how how are you gonna promise how are you gonna promise me land, but yet I have to do your bloody your your dirty work? People are already there. Could you imagine somebody promising you a house that's already been paid for, already been bought, already is in your name? There's just a family there that's living there, and it's their home. But it's really your home. You just have to kill them. And then it's your home. This is also the mindset of a lot of colonizers because they believe that, you know, their God gave them the, 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 the wealth of the earth or the land of the earth, that they were rulers, you know. What, what was the, the phrase that the conquistadors had? For God, for glory, and for gold. I mean, this is their mindset. This is the European mindset that they had as they were indoctrinating, manipulating, and annihilating indigenous people in their cultures. And here you are with your Bible telling me to repent. Jesus is the only way. Uh, you're, just, you're just ignorant, brother. I'm sorry that you're not going to get the okie doke on me unless you can truly directly answer these questions because you can't run around this. There's no okie doke. You are messing with a different giant and you're not going to slay this dragon easily. Going on to the next comment. <laughs> next comment says this whole page is a biased generalization 
assuming all Christian black people know less about our roots than you. I said, I guess, but um, it's truly amazing that you can, to quote Chris Rock, he says that if you are black and a Christian, you must have a short term memory <laughs> because for you to be proud of being a Christian, I don't have an issue with that, but you definitely need to know why you are a Christian. You definitely need to understand of how before there was colonialism, before there was a slave trade, you were not and your ancestors weren't under Christian or Christianity. They weren't worshiping Christ. And for the people in, I believe we might go into some comments here. I don't know concerning the basis of how, well, Christianity was already in Africa. That's true for two reasons. One, because Ethiopia was converted to Christianity by Greeks in the fourth century and two Christianity along with Judaism and Islam originated from Kemet. All of their stories, all of their mythology, all of it originates from Kemet. So yes, it do originate from Africa, but the indoctrination of this religion, the traditions and the cultures that you have been giving your life to and have been spreading down from generation to generation does not come from Africa. It came from Europeans. Your perception of God does not come from Africa. It comes from the European. Your name for God does not come from Africa. It comes from the European. So please miss me with that nonsense. I don't, I really, I truly don't know how you could be black and Christian. <laughs> if, if your Christianity does not advocate for the advancement of who you are as a black person, I really don't know what to tell you. I've heard Christian, you know, pastors up talking about like, I am a Christian that happens to be black. I am not a black person who's a Christian. It's to a point. That's what Christianity has done. When you really read the sectors of what missionaries have done to African descent people and indigenous people, that the way that they taught Christianity was for them to get rid of their identity. It was for them to get rid of their cultures and traditions to such a point that people will disassociate themselves from their people and from their family, from their ancestors, and disassociate with the ideology of the westernization and the Eurocentric ideas of God. So subconsciously, you see the people who rule over you as God. And that's exactly what black people keep and continue to push on <laughs> over and over and over again. And, and you may say that, oh, you're just going, you're stretching it, really. While you're naming your children Grace and Todd and James and John. <laughs> while you have such a Eurocentric mindset over your own people. While you treat white people so nice and give them a big, nice smile. While you shucking and jiving and tap dancing. Give me a break. Moving on. This woman says, so y'all just going to take information from the guy who's wearing a satanic baphomet um, around his neck? Please stop listening to these false prophets. I didn't even know I was a prophet. <laughs> and turn to Father Yahuwah, who has already given you the spirit of truth. Discern people, discern. All praise to the Most High. <laughs> it's so interesting. I mean, a lot of y'all have listened to people who have done far worse. And you judging me because I'm wearing a necklace that you don't even truly understand. I mean, it's so interesting. Like y'all are scared of a goat head. And yet y'all are willing to listen to a God who is willing to obliterate the world again. But this time with fire. <laughs> Already tried to reset the world multiple times in the Bible. If you truly read it for what it for what it says. That's truly beyond me discern people <laughs> all right next this per this man says a spiritually dead person usually isn't aware that they are dead um until they meet the author and creator of all life jesus is that author and you are the walking dead i mean i guess uh, i guess uh, you know it's, it's interesting that people who are typically delusional or brain dead you know when it comes to these type of ideas they often like to accuse and point the finger at people who are trying to speak some sense 
through asking questions and you know deconstruction and yet three three fingers are pointing right back at them you know all i'm doing is asking questions and it's interesting in the church you get demonized for asking questions moving on this person says you can't even prove half of what you said maybe it's not for me to prove maybe the proof is already in the motherfucking pudding did you ever think of that maybe the proof is already there <laughs> i'm asking a a simple question why do i need to submit my life to a jesus figure to your god to this particular being of the bible you know let's play a let's play a game <laughs> let's play a game i'm gonna play shaka zulu and you play colonizer and you have to you have to convert me to christianity <laughs> you have to convert me to christianity let me know what exactly why should i give my life to christ let's play let me let's just let's play like it's like it's the 1700s the 1800s i'm i'm somebody a part of the zulu tribe and you're a missionary and you have to so you have to make me submit my life to Christ, to your Jesus, and I have to give up all of my traditions, all of my culture, all of my, you know, spiritual and religious systems, you know, that my ancestors passed down to me for thousands of years. Let's play that game. How, how would that really turn out for you? I mean, before we get to the evidence, we have to get to what is called common sense. And I'm asking, why do I need to submit my life to Jesus when my ancestors already had a connection with God? But you believe because the European told you <laughs> that you didn't have a connection with God, that you were demonized, that you were demonic and satanic and you were led astray and you were savages and you were in jungles and you were building uh, mud piles and, and all these different things. That's what you believe about Africa. That's why a lot of black people today don't want to be African because they have this poor conception, this distorted connection with Africa. I is copperhead, master. I don't come from no goddamn Africa. I is copperhead. You see this Indian hair? I is copperhead. You see all many, all I got, I got all the feathers in the world, master. I got about from five different generation of, of birds. I is copperhead. My great great grandmother's sister's cousin. Uh, uh, next door neighbor was Indian, so that makes me Indian mass. I ain't from no goddamn Africa. African? No, so not me. Grandma says she was born in Tennessee. Africa? Hell no. Give me a break. You, I mean, like, black people are so down and out concerning their identity. They will, they, they will literally associate with anything and everything but being black. To such a point that we will argue about even using the color black. Black brother, that's a crayon. <laughs> they don't even study about the, the true meaning and development of why we associated with black and how we turn that into being something beautiful and how we associate it with dark matter and melanin and the, the you know the origin of the universe. And how black when you're dealing with alchemy, with dealing with Kim, dealing with the wise and, and wisdom. And for you to be a black person means that you are the original person, that you are the wise, the wise people, the right, because you're the originator. But I digress. It's not what this video is about anyway, right? <laughs> to conclude with that comment, though, you don't have to take what I have to say. Just look at the proof in the pudding. I mean, really ponder on that question on, on your ancestors already had systems in lock. You could look at the multiple civilizations out here that already had connections with studying astrology, with studying the universe, with study, with having their own science and their own literature. The Dogon tribe, the Dogon nation already could cite out different things in the world, having connections with the universe having a blueprint of the universe for that matter thousands of years before there was even a telescope that's science that's knowledge oh oh fallen angels that's right the fallen angels they were teaching people astronomy too time you, you see this bullshit they run from it i swear to god moving on 
I had made a video um, concerning this comment. Um, and this man, he's a Hispanic man. It's, it's interesting. I'm even really not even going to deal with it. But this is this is the epitome of the European, you know, ideology and concept and propaganda that I that I've been talking about. But he says, "You did not have a relationship with God. You were you people were cannibals and sacrificed babies to pagan deities. Christianity helped to civilize you." regardless of how brutal some Christians were when the religion was forced upon you. You could sit here all day and try and tell me, oh, that's not how we all truly feel, Tyrone. That's just him. I've already went over this. I don't need to go any further into this. <laughs> because this is how most Christians view and perceive people of other religions. It doesn't matter who they are. It don't have to be African. This is how people perceive people of pagan traditions and pagan beliefs. You don't even know what the word pagan means. Moving on. This person says, please explain these highly advanced spiritual systems that you got your God from, please. In Christians, we didn't uh, we didn't give up a God. God gave us his son prophesied by 20 different authors in the Old Testament from different continents who did not know each other. Um, mostly over a span of 1500 to 2000 years and the prophecies line up God gave us Jesus we accepted him this had nothing to do with my question at all <laughs> not one bit and not to mention there are plenty of you know historic or ancient texts that precede the Bible I hope people understand that you know and I like how they try to, you know, please explain these highly advanced spiritual systems that you got from your God. And I didn't, I didn't even mention a God. I talked about from my ancestors. <laughs> but you see the idea or the concept or the mentality of Christians. They have this narcissistic, this arrogant, this condescending mindset, you know, when it concerns their religion or their spiritual beliefs, because they, they already deem their perspective to be right. You go into a conversation with a Christian, they already they already feel like you're wrong. They already in their mindset, we know you're wrong. We know Jesus is coming back and you really need to your time is almost up. So you, you need to give your life to our Jesus right now or he's going to kill you. He's going to hurt you. That's, I mean, that's what it that's what is giving from this comment. You know, this, I mean, coming into a conversation, being condescending and being judgmental, is that really the spirit of Christ? And, and this is, you know, going back to the religion of Christianity, you really have to like decipher and discern between Christian, you know, Christian traditions and the spirit of Christ. You know, are you reaping the fruits of the spirit or are you still, you know, associating with your carnal thoughts next this person says why do you have a baphomet necklace around your neck or why do you have baphomet around your neck Before, because i can because i can i think that's the sort the shortest answer i could really give you because i can well i don't like it do you know what it means i think it's satanic i think it's evil fuck you how about that if you don't like it you don't have to like it fuck you how about that you don't have to like my necklace. You don't have to like that I got Baphomet on my wall. You don't have to like what I speak and what I stand for. If you don't like it, fuck off. I don't, and, and this is something, you know, for non-believers, for people who have come across this content, and I want to be somebody that can, that can inspire other people to stand for what they believe in. You don't have to validate your beliefs for any fucking body if i don't believe in jesus i don't fucking believe in jesus and that's all there is to it you can sit here all day and try and tell me what he's done for me i was raised up in the church i was a bible thumping christian myself i know all the ins and outs i used to preach the word i used to study the bible every day and every night before i go to bed you can't pull the okie doke on me I know too much. I know too much. And that scares you. Truly. 
it intimidates them. And so you have no choice but to try and pull these ad hominems and try and dehumanize me or diminish my intelligence. You can't pull that on me. And that's why people, they, they get on my content. They try and spew all this nonsense and stuff because you can't fuck with me. Moving on. <laughs> this person says, um, this is why I don't practice Christianity because of the heart of it is white supremacy. It don't matter what denomination it is poisonous to our people. Christianity didn't civilize us. It made us backwards made to think like dark skinned Europeans this is facts I, I have to applaud this one this is completely facts it's like what I was telling you you know the, the comments that we were you know reviewing from before about how they civilized us and how we were the savages and and that's how I mean you will hear and, and we went over you know I have a video you know talking about the basis of this concept <laughs> talking about the basis of, of this Europeanism and everything of that sort of how they this is how people visualize or see you know you know african spirituality or you know just our ancestry and africans alone there are black people today that feel like africa don't even hold up in terms of civilizations when they were the origin of creating civilizations <laughs> They were the origin of creating science. They were the origin of creating mathematics and architecture and literature. And I mean, everything, everything that you could even think of. But I was not African. I was copperhead, NASA. If you truly understood the, the, I mean, the excellence of being African, you would want to be African too. But the, the byproduct of you saying that you're not African, the byproduct of you saying not all of us came from Africa shows not only your self-hatred towards your ancestry to Africa, but it shows your ignorance. Even Malcolm X said, you cannot hate the roots of a tree and love the fruit that it bears. You can't. You can't say you love being black, but hate being African. <laughs> that don't make any type of sense. You can't claim one side of your ancestry and then ignore all the 85% of it. Oh, wow. You got a different hair texture. Big whoop. That Negroid Afroid nose doesn't pull when it comes to you being Native American. Them big Negroid Afroid lips. You can't pull that okie doke on us. The, the high the high cheekbones you can't pull I me mean, you're not running away from it but there's a lot of a lot of negroes running away from it but that's not what this conversation is about moving on this man says unfortunately many people have a distorted view of jesus they see things from a white conservative american way also they learn to to the church too much they listen to the church too much excuse me they don't think for themselves now this i can actually agree with um however if you're dealing with an ideology that is distorted shouldn't you get rid of it i mean think about this if your idea of christ if your perception of jesus in the bible and christianity if it's distorted if it's been poisoned shouldn't you get rid of that I'm not telling you to get rid of it, but really think about it. If I poison your drink, are you going to try and get the poison out of the drink or are you going to get another drink? Think about it. <laughs> so if you've been given Christianity and you've been given the Bible and we can study the Bible and understand that there's many plot holes in it, there's many different mistranslations and all these different errors in the Bible, in the stories, even within itself. A lot of these people have just 40,000 different ideas around Christ. If it's just one truth, there wouldn't be over 40,000 ideas. It would just be one. If it was just one truth and one idea and one Christ and one Lord, and there's only one way to perceive him, one way to receive him, there would just be one perception, one perspective, and that's it. So you are put with two, so you're left with two options. 
You could either accept that everybody has their own relation and connection to God in the universe and everybody has their own particular and personal archetype to God, or you will have to immediately disassociate yourself from the poison and create a new. But see, that's how so many different denominations and so many different perceptions keep being made and created because after one ideology, after one tradition becomes obsolete and becomes distorted, and then you see the flaws in it, somebody wants to create something new. This is the actual perception. This is the actual, you know, perspective of God. <laughs> and it's going to continue because a lot of people aren't willing to see through the lies and, you know, create something for themselves. You have to create a new. You can't continue to see God through this dogmatic and ignorant way of seeing things. So, yeah, I mean, your perspective and viewpoint on Jesus is very distorted. A lot of people have a very distorted perspective on Jesus. You got white Jesus, black Jesus, Mexican Jesus, Asian Jesus. There's a lot of Jesuses. <laughs> There's just thousands of Jesuses in this world. Millions of them. I've even heard in the church, your Jesus ain't my Jesus. My Jesus might not be your Jesus. I don't know what Jesus you worship, but my Jesus, my Jesus is a healer. My Jesus is a doctor. Even in the church, <laughs> people are, are worshiping different Jesuses. So if the perception and perspective of Jesus is truly distorted, I would question the whole ideology and religion in itself. I would say get rid of it. Either you're going to accept the mythology and the allegorical perspective of Jesus as for what it's supposed to be represented as, and also accept that there are other people who get different perspectives of this ideology, just like there's there's 1,000 words that hold to a picture or to a painting. It's the same way when it comes to God and in the same way that when it comes to religion or these different doctrines concerning God such as Jesus Christ, and you can relate and resonate and respect other people's perspectives around God, or you have to accept that there is a falsehood that you have been indoctrinated with, that you have been deluded by, and you have to give it up. Oh, we got a Eurocentric comment on the way. <laughs> this man says, those, oh no, it's a woman, excuse me. And this is recent. This actually happened today. This woman says those spiritual systems came from the wrong spirits. They were the false gods. We had no connection. We had no connection. 400 years ago, we did not know about Jesus. We was in Africa. Why the why the Ethiopians know this um, and many, many other nations in Africa. People know the differences between um, marine spirits, familiar spirits, and God. The connection to God can only be had through Jesus. <laughs> People thousands of years knew that Jesus was real and was killed by Romans and was resurrected. Look into history. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, Jesus is not recorded in history. And also, there was no person recorded in history named Jesus. So, you got a double, double rammy there. On top of that, the people who have recorded the so-called story of Jesus do, don't exist either because there's no records of them as well. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John did not write Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And on top of that, these so-called eyewitnesses were recorded decades after the supposed death and resurrection of Christ. So now there's a triple, maybe a quadruple whammy there. <laughs> You're welcome. Moving on, this person says, are you a Satanist or an atheist? I am neither. I am omniist. They said, because even Satanists know that Jesus is real. Well, you have to talk to them about that. <laughs> I am not a Satanist. I am not an atheist. I am omniist. If you don't know what omniism is, I have a video on omniism. So please find that video and you will get your answer. This man says, this what you are saying. 
this what you are saying is satanic do as thy will and this is what happens when people don't study <laughs> do what thou wilt, not do as thy will do what thou wilt means to fulfill the purpose that you were purposed here on earth to do that's what that means so to do what thou wilt is also in the bible thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven to do what thou wilt means to fulfill the purpose the will that you were supposed to that you are supposed to fulfill on this earth it has nothing to do with i could do whatever i want that's ignorant this person says y'all christians are mad at this guy but this is the result of when your grandma feed your plantation Christianity and pedo uh, Caucasian sweet Jesus since a child. This man is hurt from a failed religion. Y'all Christians are next to get bugged out like this. He don't understand what he believes and what you stock in. Lord have mercy. And what you stock from syndrome Christians believe is one in the same. Both goes back to serving idol worship. I'm assuming this is an Israelite. <laughs> These are 2.0 Christians for those who don't know who Hebrew Israelites are. But it's interesting, though, because it, it, Christians, as well as Hebrew Israelites, which is just another denomination, it's more so of like an aggressive, aggressive denomination of Christianity. But it's interesting, though, that, you know, people like this, you know, when they believe in religion or Christianity or things of that sort, they always want to accuse a person of being hurt traumatized you know having some type of anxiety or depression or whatever the case is when it concerns them not wanting to associate with their religion now while there is trauma that i have experienced within the church that has nothing to do with the basis of what i said in the video because my question still stands why do i need to serve jesus as my ancestors had well advanced spiritual systems that they had connections with god connections with the universe connections with nature thousands of years prior to christianity this comment has nothing to do with that you know and it's so it's so ironic because he's the one <laughs> when you look at how bugged out his comment is he's the one that is truly traumatized and hurt from Christianity. It's a sad case. Moving on. This person says, man, you tripping, brother. I pray Jesus upon to you and I pray and rebuke all the demons. You're fighting, my brother. I love you. Jesus is the way he is God. I don't think Jesus would condone that message. Because Jesus never told you to pray to him. So I don't know why you would be praying to Jesus. And I'm not fighting demons. I'm friends with mine. Emmanuel, he says, why would you have a pentagram on your neck? Without darkness, there is only light. So if you have a symbol of darkness on you, that insinuates that you believe in light. Without heat, there is only cold. But would you be able to know what cold is without an understanding of heat i don't know what this man is trying to say <laughs> he he first says that i have a pentagram around my neck was supposed to represent darkness but penta the pentagram doesn't represent darkness the pentagram represents first it, it can represent the four elements of the earth truly five elements of the earth the pentagram can also represent, you know, the makeup of your body. The pentagram can also represent the master black head, you know, the goat head in itself. In another aspect, it can represent the, you know, the eternal blackness, the triple blackness, you know, concerning the, the vulva of a woman. So, I, I mean, it can represent many different symbols, many different things concerning nature in itself. Moving on, <laughs> Marco, he says, can't become God if we didn't make ourselves or anyone around us. How can anyone be God? This that role is already filled in your whoa. That role is <laughs> that role was already filled and you're deceived through your flesh and outside voices. All I can say is speak to the one that did create the world. Well, Miss Mr. Sir, um, we are gods. 
and I actually made a video about this and I have a reel on my page as well concerning the basis of this conversation and topic that when it concerns the basis of God and when it concerns the basis of you becoming God or knowing that you're God, it doesn't mean that you are the creator and the master of the universe and you can do whatever you want. It means that you are God within a vessel. You are God playing as a human. You are God, but within the restraints of the nature of you as a human. So you live out the boundaries and the, the limit, the, you know, the limits of you being a human. You push your, your human, your humanity to the farthest extent as a God, as human. No more than God plays as a bird. No more than God plays as a plant. You get what I'm saying? You're God within the nature of humanity. Someone says, why do you idolize the devil? If you think I idolize the devil, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know. I mean, like, how do you go on my page and on my content and listen to my content and listen to my page thoroughly? Unless you're just looking at stuff from face value. And you just truly don't understand what I stand for. Then that's on you. Get into our last comment. This man says, you are not God. Get a grip. In your videos, all you're doing is worshiping Satan. You will pay for the deception and judgment. You have but one chance to avoid it. And that is through the blood of Christ. Pause. Did Jesus ordain y'all to use his blood like this? <laughs> I mean, some of y'all are just splattering and, and just overusing this man's blood how much blood does this man got he only got one body he only had one body and millions billions of people i plead the blood i plead the blood how much blood does this man got <laughs> who ordained y'all to, to just be i plead the blood of jesus i poured i mean why would you want to be you don't want to be covered in anybody's blood why would you want to be in the blood of, of this man? I mean, who goodness gracious, a lie. That don't make no, I never understood that. Even when I was a Christian, y'all people out here pleading the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. I mean, took, took, took whatever concept it was and just ran with it. How much blood does this man got for all y'all just be pleading it? This man got an infinite amount of blood that for y'all to use, like. Oh, no, that's not biblical. I know that for sure. <laughs> the gift to you that you deny. I hope you humble yourself and give thanks to God before your last breath. Well, it's a good thing I'm God, so I ain't got to even worry about that. And that's all the comments that we have for today. I might go over, you know, another video if y'all truly like this type of con, you know, content and me going over these videos and just really just expressing myself and expressing my ideas and how I truly feel about this. For a disclaimer, you know, if you truly don't understand where I'm coming from and you don't understand who who I am and what I stand for, be nice about it. Just ask questions. Hit me up in my DMs. I'm not hard to talk to. I'm a very intellectual person, but don't come at me crazy. Don't diminish who I am. Don't diminish and, and downplay what I stand for, because you're not going to get the answer that you might deserve to get. And if you want to know more about these ideas, you know, I even go a little more in depth on the concepts of Christianity in this video here. You don't want to miss that one. Till next time. We out.